Hey guys, and we are here to pre-plan in my uh, paper house planner. We're gonna use this kit from Two Little Bees, set your goals, make plans, chase your dreams. I thought this would be great for January because you know, January is the, the month of resolution and goals. So I left it on this pay, th this part of the planner so I could show you what it looks like so far. Um, it's looking real cute, real adorable. I'm really loving it. So again, First week of the year, really haven't done much to decorate this. I need to, I haven't. We'll work on that. Anyways, so how are you guys? So if you've been with me for a while, honestly, I can't remember if I mentioned it. I do not like to set New Year's resolutions. Um, I decided a long time ago that I... Um, I'm terrible at resolutions, but I do better with goals. So I am gonna set a goal. This year's goal is gonna be get back on track with my health, with my weight, with my finances. So that's the plan, okay? That's the hope. So this was gifted to me. Look how gorgeous, oh yeah, those headers, oh, these boxes this washi oh man the deco okay so I have black date dots this kit oops this kit is in a rose gold ah uh, those might be too I need transparent that's gold and not the right dates those are gold mm, we will look through the um, the rose gold folder in a minute to see if I have any transparent and if you notice I don't have my nails on today um, I removed my nails because if you notice when I showed you last week's plans, um, I, have, I have a burst pipe. It's the pipe in the bathroom. So just to preemptively know that my nails are going to get dirty, break, be disgusting, I just removed them. Because um, we got to dig. We gotta dig and we gotta get in the dirt, so. Okay, so I'm gonna need some white out just a little bit. <clears throat> and I know there are people that say, well, if you bought a Harry Potter planner, why aren't you using it as is? Because I don't want to. I bought the Harry P Potter planner because I loved it. And that is exactly why I got it no other reason than I love Harry Potter <clears throat> and it was really cute and I had a coupon so I wanted to use that coupon so I did and you guys should Plan how you want and make things as plain or as beautiful as you feel like. And that is what I am going to do. Yeah, I like that. I lower that also with this the paper in this planner is really not that forgivable it is gonna be a thousand percent um, dependent on the sticker paper whether or not you're gonna be able to pull stickers back up um, so just know that just know that 
it's all going to be dependent upon the sticker paper itself, whether or not you're going to be able to get it back up. Just throwing that out there, guys. Okay. So my burst pipe issue, we didn't know it was a bur burst pipe issue. Um, starting Sunday, thought it was just a clog. Hello, Shadow Boy. He's in here looking for any treats that may have fallen on the floor. Hello, my love. Um, also, guys, we started going on walks again. I've been going late at night in hopes of not running into any people and any dogs. And for the most part, it was successful. I'll tell you a story about last night in just a minute here. So last Sunday, there was an issue. Small issue. And so my dad on Monday had me go and get a different type of plunger tool to try to help deal with the issue. Um, <clears throat> and Monday didn't have any issues. Thought everything was all good to go. And then Tuesday comes around and it's more issues more issues lots of issues right well then my dad is my dad comes on Wednesday and we just can't get this toilet unclogged and we take the toilet off and we're trying to get it to drain and we can't get it to drain and then my dad's taking a little bit of a break I started digging outside and he goes what are you doing you don't need to dig outside and I'm like just in case He's like, you don't need to dig outside. <clears throat> it's not that serious. Um, and then um, I take a dowel that I have to check the area, the hole. And notice that it can go places it shouldn't. And then my dad felt around with the dowel. And he's like, cool, your pipe's broken. So now we are currently digging out the outside um to one try to get under the house because i don't have a basement my dad said he wish i had a basement in the pipe burst because it'd be so much easier to replace his pipe um but i have no basement so we're digging out under the foundation so we can remove this cast iron pipe that was installed in 1950 that finally rusted out and broke 1950 And the worst part of the whole situation, like the whole situation is bad. Oh, I did not count. It's a, oh no, there's one right there. Um, the worst part of this situation is to have my kiddo asking me, why is it that the, the pipe broke? Like, what did we do? You know, wh why is it our house? Why is it always our house that's breaking? And I did not purposely buy a crappy house. The flippers made it look so good. I thought I was buying this beautifully redone house and I wasn't. Um, and in this economy, there's no way I'm going to be able to afford a house on my own. And I'm not going to just get a random housemate just to get a different house. I'm not going to have that around me. I'm not going to have that around my kid. So my only option is to get a house with a spouse. Um... Honestly, that's that's <clears throat> that's not an easy thing. And you know, I've told my family because I've had family members be like, "Oh, you know, I could move in and pay rent." I'm like, "No, I don't need you to move in and pay rent at my current status. If I had to buy a new house right now, oh yeah, the houses around me because I have to stay in this area are around. They start." 
as the sign says, they start in the low 600,000s. Yeah. Yeah. Huh, right? The low 600,000s. The house next door to me sold for 650. The low 600s. Like, come on, man. Give me a break. That's how my day is going. How about you guys? Okay, back to the story with the dog. So I, going out and physically walking and running and that kind of thing has always been a good stress reliever for me always um and it has been a while since i've taken shadow out because of his reactivity situation um <clears throat> and so you know i took a step back from taking him out right well the other day i was like you know what it's not raining let me take this dog out okay let me take this dog out and it was like 7 30 at night the street lights were on um and honestly i am so glad that i did because it was a great walk and i know shadow was appreciative of the walk he did so well he didn't really pull Um, and um, he gives indicators now obviously well he's probably always have given the indicators um, I'm just better at looking for them now so he kind of paused he kind of did like a half step and if ears perked up just a little bit more so I'm looking around and I see at first I thought it was like oh coyote or deer but I'm like mm, that coat is too light and I see another one. So it was like either two uh, golden retrievers or golden labs. I think they're golden retrievers because I think they were long haired. Um, and I was like, Ooh, nope. So we turned and went the other way. Um, they weren't close enough and they weren't perceived enough to shadow to be a threat. So he didn't bark at them. Um, but we just turned and our walk was cut just a little bit short. And then I was like, you know what? This is it. Oh, everything shifted over just a little too much. Taking him out this late, this is great. He gets a walk before bed. I get a walk before bed. And he feelings or issues I'm having before bed I can kind of work them out on the walk before before bed and you know he's getting walks again so I'm like this is actually so freaking perfect it's not even funny right so the next night going out about 7 15 I'm like we're gonna get a good 45 minute walk in right we're gonna get a good 45 minute walk in we're gonna do it Well, we get to the neighborhood that has the, the very fancy street lights, uh, street lamps and stuff. So, you know, I can feel safe walking instead of just walking in the dark. And there is a person walking their German Shepherd. And I see them, they're coming our way, and I'm thinking, okay, this is their neighborhood. Let me go ahead and turn and go a different direction. So before shadow could be too much of an issue, we turn and went a different direction. 
Well, then I notice they're coming in. They had some at some point turned and they're coming at us again. So I turn and I take shadow in another direction. So I'm walking to the part that's close to the trail and it's pitch black. And <clears throat> we're walking because it's, I'm going to be like, oh, let's walk because I was going to walk in a different way. And here's this person with their damn dog again, walking directly at us. And like my only option, if I wasn't going to go forward, would then be turn around and walk into the pitch black trail near the woods. And absolutely not. So I have Shadow sitting and I'm trying to keep him distracted because as soon as this person gets close enough, I'm going to tell him we're not friendly. Well, I didn't have to worry about that because Shadow decided to let them know on his own that he's not friendly. He starts barking and he's jumping up, going a little crazy. Not too crazy. I was able to keep him under control actually really well. He actually listened to me really well, but it was enough that this person paused, could hear Shadow barking. I honestly, I don't know if they actually saw Shadow. They could see me. But Shadow is pitch black. He's a pitch black dog. I can't even see him in my own house in the shadows, okay? And I think that finally caused that person to pause, take a little step back, and decide we don't want that smoke. And he stepped away. And they, he finally turned and went the other way with his dogs. Well, with his dog. <clears throat> and didn't come back in my direction. And it's like, you know what? Thank you, Jesus, for taking the hint. Like, I literally turned and walked the other way twice with my dog. You watched me turn and walk away with my dog. Oh. That's okay. Like, you may not be able to see him, but you can hear me giving him commands. Why would you continue to walk towards us, especially when my dog is barking at yours? Like, what sense does that make? Like, go a different direction. And it's not like it's a tiny neighborhood that it was inevitable that we were going to run into each other. Half the neighborhood is undeveloped. It is a very large area to walk around. And the fact that you kept circling back to come towards me and my dog. Mm -mm. That's okay because if they would have gotten any closer... And I told them and I hollered out, not friendly, and they still came at me. And I can't get my dog to a safe location away from them. Um, and then something happens, I warn them that we're not friendly. They were warned. Because apparently the dog barking wasn't enough of a warning. So music by Black Rift Music, as always, because we stand Black Rift Music. Um, Okay. Do I have anything planned? I'm going to go back to here, even though I have it filled out 100%. Just looking at the days of the week. I think I just have work stuff planned these two days. Nothing else. 
Okay. You know me, I like to have my work boxes be similar. I love when Jen from Jen of Whole Muniz Plans does her work thing with the clipboard. No, not Jen. Um, Lauren. What's her channel name? And she does the clipboards. Oh, man. Makes me want to buy those clipboard stickers. Lauren hasn't put a video out in ages. Um, so I'm blanking on, it's not planning like a pro because that is the gal from Canada. Y'all know who I'm talking about. I know y'all know. I know y'all know. <clears throat> I know y'all know. So. That actually a little bit lower you know it'll be fine okay <sighs> my dad just notified me that he did end up taking the week off um, emergency week off Cause he wasn't, he honestly wasn't sure how quickly he could get the time off to work on the um, bathroom situation because it's better to have the time off than not. Um, because what started as a small issue has now literally exploded into a big issue. So yay me. Okay. Is that it? Is that it? Uh, I don't know what I have coming this week because, you know, life. Um, but I think that's everything I need to pre-plan. I think I literally don't have anything else to pre-plan, which honestly is fantastic. Um, I'm hoping that this week won't be filled with the bathroom repair. We're hoping to get it done this weekend. Um, it might be, who knows? So yeah, um, beautiful kit from Two Little Bees. Um, sorry guys, it's, it's been a very rough week and I apologize, we just have a lot going on. So thanks so much for watching, I'll see you guys later, bye.